Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Tyro for another documentary of the month. I'm back here again with my favourite correspondent for news, movies, basic complaining and just someone I love to bitch about things with, Simon Red. Well, thank you for having me back. It's been a while and uh, you asked me quite a few times, so I figured I'd give in a little bit. Well, I appreciate it. And this time we're actually going to be speaking about something which you're more in line with. For this month's documentary, we're going to be talking about a documentary about the games industry and... Um, the feminine side of the game and i hope i'm not even got criticized for saying that the feminine side of the game industry well at least that's what they're selling it as but okay. um okay well we'll, well we'll discuss the movie in detail if it actually stays true to that concept well it's called gtfo which is an acronym for get the fuck out and basically in summary this documentary is about women in the games industry women that are players publishers writers and basically how they feel they've been affected in the current generation and some of it's dealing with the past and history of games industry is i think this documentary was made what a year or two years ago i put the information on the screen in the description below but basically um i was asked to review this one because um no one really talks about well we haven't really spoken about the game we don't talk about games per se on here and i did i found the documentary interesting at a point because let me put this out there guys i don't really have a thing about girls playing video games mainly because me being born in the early 80s when i grew up games were just coming up in general putting aside women games 8-bit games 16-bit games and women i guess they weren't catered to women anyway but it was more of a boys thing and a lot of the development of games were I guess they were catered towards boys and girls just didn't play. I didn't I didn't alienate them not to play the games, but I didn't know any girls around me that liked video games. Not because it was too boy or it was a man's club at the time, just because at the th I just feel like it was a thing that boys did mostly. Girls had their things at the time. And let me be very clear, I'm talking about my experience, my generation now things are completely different there was no internet when i was young at all there's a lot of women in the games industry now that are writing games making games doing reviews for games and that generation and closer to simon's generation because there is an age difference which is why i'm having him on his experience might be different so i didn't want to just review this movie from my perspective because i think i'm a little bit out of touch with a lot of the current situations with female game journalism and their experiences so i wanted to get simon's perspective on the documentary on the game scene and you know i'll i will let you go on you know how do you feel from seeing this i want to hear your thoughts well thanks for the the detailed intro i mean that would have been a good setup for a movie that tries to analyze changing trends and uh how uh gaming is becoming you know um i guess more diversified over the past two decades uh there were always some experiments like mostly uh, on nintendo's part to make games that are more female oriented and show them in commercials like beyonce did this huge thing for animal crossing on the ds i think a, a few years back when the ds was at its peak and so obviously now we have uh you know the mobile market on smart devices that is huge and there's a ton I of... I didn't know that, by the way. I, did, I had no idea Nintendo had Beyonce on the payroll for oh, even a moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. All those Animal Crossing games. And uh, not to get sidetracked. But basically, yeah. there was a continuous movement of trying to cater to that market and to expand the market from certain companies, not the mainstream. But that's not really what this documentary is about. To be honest with you, when you, you asked me to watch it, I watched the trailer, and it has an awful trailer. Like the, the, the trailer for this documentary is completely awful. And I looked at up the the credits for the people who made it and this is basically a, a first attempt at yeah. filmmaking yeah and you could tell because the documentary is not shot well if you're gonna watch this don't expect anything of high quality it's it's very much about kind of highlighting the issue they want to uh, discuss rather than actually making anything that's very entertaining or a well-made documentary it's very low budget sure and i i don't think they have a good angle on it because in the trailer they kept going on about and using the word abuse like th that's what the movie boils down to for those of you who know nothing about the film it's a documentary about how if you're a female in today's gaming environment that's very much online and and involves a lot of interaction with strangers and social media 
and to a certain extent to get the full experience you need to either put yourself out there in person or at least create some sort of online identity and anytime uh, a girl kind of exposes herself of being a female gamer the, the response they're getting they link it directly to abuse and they show a lot of examples in the documentary most notably a, a promotional event for a fighting game that goes wrong where one of the female fighters on the team like female player who's a part of this competitive tournament just gets all sorts of uh, douchebag comments from uh, one guy in particular but mostly the whole room and nobody steps up to to kind of defend her and she just increasingly feels awkward because it goes from one joke to just a continuous uh, onslaught of of uh, remarks because she's a female so asking her to take her shirt off and that kind of stuff and i get that that's offensive but at the same time, I think it's extremely disrespectful to victims of actual abuse to say that, hey, somebody says something nasty to you on the phone that immediately makes you a victim of abuse. Mm. If you ask actual as somebody who knows who's in their friend circle, there are women who have been abused. And most women, nine out of ten, are always abused by a family member. They will not list mean comments as the top ten things of you know as part of being abused okay at all so yeah. i thought this documentary had a terrible tone to begin with they were really laying it on thick yeah it, and a, a big part of it is lazy liberalism which is a huge criticism these days that a lot of these common sense liberal issues that we all i think under a certain age group the majority of us are for we realize that diversity is good and that equality is very important and we need to end certain discriminative functions of our society that we inherited from past generations which this movie goes into they they go to detail on how starting from the 50s and 60s we were dominated by white males you know in society and everything was catered to them and gaming was originally catered to boys like you said when it was coming up in the 80s mm -hmm. and they try to cross link it with uh, the experiences these women had online but half of the panel they have on here aren't really educated on either subject matter and mostly they just overreact certain things that are are closer to today's online culture which is not to say they're it's a good thing it's a, it's very disgusting what anonymity or just uh the trend the, the trend of of being online and overreacting to everything and and making insanely disrespectful comments as somebody like yourself you know don who has a youtube channel you you know mm -hmm. how it is out there that people criticize everything and it's it it's quite disgusting but i would be very careful with having a direct link between that behavior and being a victim of abuse because those are two different things and two different conversations I agree. Let me let me jump in there for a minute. Um, what I do want to say is, after I watched this movie, I went to the review sites, IMDb, uh, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, and uh, Metacritic and such, and uh, the reviews were pretty scathing. And a lot, this isn't my personal opinion, I'll get to it in a minute, but a lot of them were saying, again, this was very heavy-handed, it was very skewed onto selling a particular type of agenda, a particular type of message. There was no nuance to it. It was all just men are shit men are all dogs and you know every time they get on they're personally abused there was no light and dark to it it was just all black and to the documentary's discredit i will say that it does come on very heavy and i feel like the reason they do that is just they, they feel this sense of urgency that they need to show how detrimental and how horrible this is and again it is a little bit one-sided for me to think that you know what maybe if i'm a woman I don't know if they uh, I, i'm not a woman so i i can't even say it but it did feel like they're only highlighting the negative element and maybe and i think you said this to me before simon as well that when you get on whether you're a man or a woman the online community gaming on the it's terrible for everybody most people are idiots man woman child whatever same can go for youtube comments same can go for articles online generally the internet is shitty people are shitty they leave shitty comments they're under that veil of anonymity and they say what they want they say what they feel because they're secure they're keyboard warriors what have you i tried um i was really trying to be educated by this documentary to see that am i really not understanding something about women in gaming because number one i'm not a hardcore gamer myself and when i see these women in, in the tournaments that are very male dominated i wanted to see if i could see it from their perspective and 
I didn't feel that the documentary was doing that because again, it felt like the way they edited it is that they were only showing the one side. But at the same time, they did inform me on a couple of things. Like there was one or two people that had worked in the game industry for a number of years. I think one of the women was a writer for Dragon Age Inquisition. And she oh yeah, she was one of the, the few people on there who actually had some, some good remarks and was yeah. actually very interesting to listen to. Yeah, and she said that she actually wrote a gay subplot in the game. And then she got all this hate mail from people saying, oh, you're gaying up my game. And now you put, you're put just putting your gay agenda in here. And you're ruining my straight game and all that. Oh, yeah. I mean. And then she got harassed for months on it and years and death well, threats and all that shit. Well, you see our, our, our this year's, uh, in, and when I say our, I mean in the United States, uh, our election campaign. You, you, you see that yeah. we ignored the subject of, of informing people and having an educated uh, intelligent society for way too long and we just have a huge problem with a very large number of people i think this goes for the uk as well with the recent brexit vote that we have a large sum of ignorant people on this planet yeah, and in these course. countries and both genders yeah yeah, yeah but th yeah. that's my critique of the movie that it it takes separate issues and jumbles them together like there's there's an issue of what they're trying to touch up on of you know the what women have to deal with like the the lopsidedness and the discrimination against women categorizing them as uh you know the the mother the wife somebody who who's who doesn't have a career you know basically uh, basically all the negative stuff from the 50s and 60s mm -hmm. leading up to to women have to, to had to struggle through decades to basically get to where where we are now where like I issues like equal pay paid paternity leave all this stuff but, is um is still relevant but we're certainly came a long way come a long way since but on on the flip side of it they talk about online culture which is a completely different matter because there's a lot of <laughs> racial abuse online there's a lot of abuse of sexuality there's a lot of abuse for basically everything if, yeah. if you're left-handed you're gonna find a club of people who hate left-handed if if yeah. If you don't like a certain type of game, other people will hate you for not liking that type of game. If you don't don't like a, if you don't play on a specific console, there's something called the console war, which is people fighting over which plastic box they like better. Yeah, I don't even like. The, I like Nintendo, and I'm I'm cool. That I'm a casual what? now. Get, get out of here. You see, I like. I'm out of my gamer. face you, you, you're not a real gamer you're not a real gamer like you're like Nintendo, this, yeah. one console which is a failure <laughs> what I want to say is that honestly after watching the documentary I was just like I do wish they put more in the presentation because it really feels like when you watch a, a presentation that's done very amateurish it really does enhance the feel like this is just someone with an agenda getting all these manipulated segments together putting it together it didn't feel super manipulated but it just felt very skewed and although honestly i got a lot from the documentary from an informative level i wanted to hear the female perspective anita sarkazian is one of the biggest most hated female gaming journalists or whatever you want to call her who had that series on youtube that is extremely popular which i do like but people hate her to death she was on this documentary for a little bit talking about how she's been how she's been affected by this death threats and all that the things the women are saying in this movie are not false unfortunately they are only for me personally as a guy yes i will say this i feel like it's not the whole story and they are marginalized yes I, they are the smaller part and things are changing but when i came away from the documentary i just thought to myself that i'm glad they put this out because some people should see this but unfortunately and that's the imdb review show most people hate these hate women that are trying to voice their opinions especially when they don't do it in a very um even killed way that seems a little bit like they have a one one decisive agenda against men or against the whole culture and throwing everyone under the bus and just feels like we should be heard and fuck everybody and i'm not even saying that was the narrative per se but i understand how someone could see it like that i'm not a professional gamer so i was like i came away thinking the documentary was subpar the information was somewhat interesting but i kind of felt like I listened to a very a few people that were abused mostly I felt like I listened to the abusers only tell the story when they don't represent all women oh, you mean you just, mean the abused sorry the abuser sorry you're right <laughs> Not the no, like, let us hear them <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, sorry. the abuse I felt like I just heard the people the women that were most abused 
they picked them to make this documentary and if you're doing a commentary about the unevenness in the game industry and you only pick a select view of women they cannot represent the whole you can't use them for this narrative because then what you'll get is you'll get the other side the haters coming on saying that they're liars or they're fakers or they're ruining it for everybody so i i want to i don't want to make this long discussion on my end i will just say the documentary is subpart on the whole i do think it's somewhat interesting because there's there's some people here that there's some gems of really good written discussion here that is food for thought but unfortunately the presentation is not very good it's too lopsided and it ends they they only hint at the game again the, the gamer gate thing which is the biggest controversy with this whole women in the uh, video game journalism thing they left that right at the end for the last two minutes and i know why they did that because that has got so much focus they wanted to leave it right at the end and say look it's a bigger issue than just gamergate so forget about that just as to what we're saying this is more important than gamergate but when they did that to me again it was kind of like you see again you lopsided this is big this is a part of the issue this gamergate thing brought this thing to light this is what actually made this the bigger issue that is today when you yeah. put that right on the end of the work as well you kind of narrow your focus into let's just talk about this let's not talk about that it's a bigger topic it's a bigger issue yeah do you know what the movie reminded me of that youtube clip of the the chick there of just walking home and all the the yes. nasty comments yeah, she got yeah, and yeah, then yeah. which was uh, very good to highlight hey yeah how does it look from a female perspective how when you know you being sexualized and and that there needs to be a more serious conversation of what qualifies as you know so, sort of verbally assaulting somebody but then of course it came out that she edited the video yeah. to make it look worse than it actually was yeah. which undermined the the whole conversation that she started which was a very good conversation but she did it in a really dumb way yeah. where instead of just taking a few moments and and then actually talking about the issue she just uploaded this completely biased video with a very specific agenda of seeing see see is the same people doing the same thing don't you see the don't you see the pattern maybe all of them are like this i'm like oh, now you're just downright racist i just want to wrap this up on my end by saying this i said this in the beginning my generation of gamers women weren't even interested in games it's not me being sexist my sisters my cousins my girl my girl slash friends were never interested in games i don't blame them and now at my age when i see and let me say this the people that made this documentary they were younger than me probably five ten years younger than me there's some older people in there but the generation coming up now that are writing games that are doing these competitions they're not in my demographic so i'm a bit refrained from this watching this like well this is going to be something my nephew has to deal with or the the, the, the new generation to deal with now as gamers as for me it was just interesting i feel bad for some women in general but i was like interesting but as a rating i would give it a, a standard watchable i know some people especially in the gaming industry now the younger ones men might hate this or whatever yeah but they're part of the problem <laughs> you know yeah, like... so i just honestly think it's a whatever documentary if it was if it was put together a bit more properly to be honest with you if the presentation was more proper it would have helped it a lot even though the message is skewed the presentation being very very amateurish really did not help it and but they had one good element which i haven't really highlighted is that they have this 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 allegory this this little female game in this 8-bit model going around kind of illustrating a lot of their points in this little funny cartoon game little thing they have it sprinkled throughout the movie it's it's amusing i like that i thought that was fun it has nothing to do with the movie per se but it made me chuckle i thought i would like to see a video game of that as a satirical, <laughs> you know, as a satirical joke if they made a woman woman fighting through the a male dominated game they should make that game that's called tomb raider the reboot <laughs> like that. that's basically it <laughs> that, that. If you play if you play the the last two Tomb Raider games, that's basically it. It's it's Lara Croft fighting all all sorts of perverts trying to kill her and rape her. Oh, <laughs> there you go. So that was me, Simon. That I gave it a watchable, you know, a low watchable. But let me let's let you wrap up. What do you think about this? Uh, anyway? I'll I'll join you right there. And again, the the movie's biggest problem is what you know liberal politics in general today that. The people talking about the issue, after a while, they get more concerned about patting themselves in the back than actually solving the problem. Like the only person here who actually proactively did anything, sorry, the only two people, are there's a lady who founded like this educational group to, yeah. to teach people. Yeah. 
yeah. teach young girls how to code and become active in the games industry so we yeah. have more diversity in terms of the people making games because right now that's an interesting point the movie brings up that most of them are on the art side writers artists illustrators but in terms of the technical programming side there's a lot, not a lot of fe- uh, a lot of female programmers in the industry yeah. so she was good and your girl from youtube because she proactively makes very educational videos about this issue so that's all great but the rest of the movie i just felt like nobody's contributing to solving this problem everybody over dramatizes the issue nobody brings up an intelligent argument and then there's nothing to solve it the big argument this movie highlights is why is online culture the way it is why why can people converse more civilly why why is it that people are just looking for an angle to attack anybody online whether it be it's because they're a female gamer is because they're a person of color is is it because of their straight or gay is it because of what whatever the the topic is it's just about a certain gang mentality and pack mentality taking over and it's us against them and let's let's find a victim to abuse so to speak but again that's taking things too far because we're not talking about physical abuse we're talking about an online culture of of basically being very immature and i'm not trying to play down cyberbullying because i know a lot of people for in a lot of people's lives it's a serious problem and they get very depressed about it but i'm saying that's a whole different discussion to have which this movie doesn't even attempt to discuss or offer a solution for well, I think in the industry, there there's plenty of developments that they could have highlighted. Like, I know this this year's E3, and I'll wrap up with this. For Xbox, there was announced that they're going to have different groups for online gaming, which means you can create a group that's against profanity. So only, only people are allowed in the group who don't curse. And you can basically create whatever you want. So you can have just have a group for people who play these, these, this type of games. So people will do this, people who prefer to do this and it's up to your preference and i think that's a proactive statement to empower people who want to change and who want to uphold a certain level of standards and of course there's probably going to be a day one kkk group on there you know for just like you know white supremacists for only white gamers a lot or some nonsense like that yeah. but it's a good first step to empower people who want change and that's why i didn't get from this documentary i'm like if you're just going to focus on one issue, you better show that you're really trying to improve things. But instead, they just ended on know that any every person in this documentary who appeared on camera is a hero. I'm like, yeah, they said that. That was that was a little bit too much. But I'm like, OK, yeah, I, uh, I will say this, guys. Honestly, if you look at the bigger picture and I do want to end on the positive, the fact this documentary is out there, the fact that Anita Scarcase has got a YouTube channel out there even though women are struggling they're getting their voices out there they're being heard and there's two men across the pond that are talking about it so whatever whatever positive or negative attitudes people have towards it their voices are being heard one way or another and i think things are changing across the board with uh women men people of color people of different sexes or what have you so you know i think things are changing just like they are with many other things in the gaming culture in social in social in social, in social justice <laughs> period bad choice of words but yeah uh let me let me leave it at that guys if you've watched a documentary leave a comment down below let us know what you think if you haven't check it out i know it's actually a bit hard to come by but uh if you do uh, leave a comment down below and give them a review on your honest thoughts because i do think some of the reviews i saw on imdb were very knee jerky and i think a lot of them were assholes they were very childish so but I understand the, the, where that mob mentality would come from because, you know, these women are making a lot of enemies and some of them are very unjust. But let's stop the rant here, guys. Again, thanks for watching. If you like the video, if you like our long political discussion, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Hit the button right down there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button, guys. We're over 500, close to 600 subscribers. We thank you for watching. If you're listening on the iTunes, Thank you. Leave us iTunes with you. It helps us climb the rankings. But until then, I want to thank my host and guest, Simon, for joining me on this one. Thank you. And remember, people, treat other people the way you would like to be treated yourself. I can also. <laughs> exactly. Until next time, people. <laughs> <laughs> See ya.